it's contemptible, we're criticized and coerced. We made the big time malicious and mad. We're the very best at being bad. Ladies, first checkpoint reached. I bet you're very pleased with yourselves, but you shouldn't be. You're idiots. Thanks, Sarge. You're welcome. So, listen up. The second phase of this exercise will test your ability as a unit to adapt to sudden changes in operational strategy. Like that time in Bajra when we ran out of diesel for the tank. <laughs> oh, yes. The four donkey men of Apocalypse Now. <laughs> to be fair, Sarge, those donkeys got us back to base. Oh, you're right, they did. I don't know why we don't use donkeys more often. Oh, hold on, we do. Get your gear together and get ready to move out. You'll receive the coordinates for the next checkpoint shortly. Questions? No thanks. <laughs> I wonder if it was a pervert that invented binoculars. Well, even if it wasn't, eh? I bet they're glad. Mm. It was a Dutch guy. Johan Le Perry, 1608. No, no, I'm sorry. But how would you know that? The who wants to be a millionaire pug at the Naffy bar. But why would you remember that? Cos it was for 20 quid. I got it wrong, so that's why I remember it, in case it comes up again. Oh, well. Fair dues, Charlie, eh? Learning from your mistakes. Imagine everything you did was for 20 quid. You got any mirror of them? What, binoculars? <laughs> Very funny, fat boy. Geese one. Mmm. It's good, likes. My dad's special recipe. It's an Italian one, right? But he uses sausage meat for the middle bit and pastry for the roll. They're nice, eh? Epic. You know, they might even be better than my mum's. Ah, I've heard your mum's are pretty good, eh? So's that sausage rolls. Aye, aye! <laughs> aye. Just get big tits, my mum. <laughs> OK, masterminds. 20 quid, you can't name me seven football teams with body parts in their names. Easy. Hearts, hearts, glorious hearts. Um. Arsenal. Um. Manchester United. Um, Liverpool, Portsmouth. Five, not bad. Uh, stomach, um... Brechin. Give you that. Brechin? B-R-E-C-H-I-N, Brechin. What's your Brechin? Hey, come on, there's one more. That? No. Nah. Scunthorpe! <laughs> <laughs> Scunthorpe. <laughs> That's good. But your thought. Other end. Your, um, your scun, your scun, your, uh, your cunt. <laughs> That's it. Remember when you slipped and fell on your cunt? Did I? Aye. I fell on my cunt. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Did I break it? Can you break your cunt? Did I though? Come in, Alpha Zero Zero. Over. Go ahead, over. The greatest skill I've learnt in the army has to be getting things right. I think the army makes you get things right, cos if you don't, they're no happy. And I can you might be thinking, oh, what about Iraq and that? But you see, that's different, cos... See, we did what we were told, and that was right. You do what you're told in the army, see, right? Whereas the government told the army what to do. So then if anyone was wrong, it was them. But then the public voted in the government. So then they were wrong to do that. So actually, Iraq and that is the public's fault. A lot of them won't admit it, but it's true. We're not lost. 
Give me two seconds. Right, that's us here. Where? Here. Here? There. Where? Right on the stair, right there. I want my straight clothes on. Well, I declare, go and clip, clip, and eat, clip on the stair. Oh, yeah! We need to flank northwest from here, around from this point, avoiding. Hello, child line. No, Dad, it's me. That's my dad. Hello, Hello Mr. McLean Dog. Hi, good. He's asking, are the sausage rolls good? Oh, oh aye. aye. Shit! When did that happen? His cooker's broken. Ah! But he's okay. Hey! Right. But he's got to cook for the bowling club on Saturday. Mm. Right. But he's found a cooker advertising the paper. Hey! Right. Glen Kayland. Um. That's just over the hill. Charlie's just saying uh, it's nearby. Aye, well no, that's fine. No, we'll just go and pick it up. Hey lads! Hey! What? McCanny? Hold on. What do you mean McCanny? My dad's cooker just about blew up in his face and it almost could have killed him. But all he's concerned about is whether we enjoy these sausage rolls or not. Well, I can't tell him we're not going to get the cooker. Dad, Charlie wants to speak to you. Hello? Hi, Mr McClintock. Look. Aye, the sausage rolls were... Lovely, aye. Right, look, um, aye, my mum's fine. Aye, she really enjoyed that recipe. Right, look, about your cooker. Aye. Aye, that's no bother, we'll pick it up. We've got the tank. Right. I'll just pass you back to Gary. See, Dad? No bother at all. We'll pick it up. That'll take two minutes. All right. How much is it? That's fine. That's fine. All right, then. Just text us the address. All right. See you later. Right, we are going to pick up a cooker for your dad when we're on an exercise. See this? See this, boys? This is what makes him a good soldier, because he just got all that just from listening. Oh, come on, boys, this is what it's all about, eh? You know, changes to operational diversity, you know, drills and skills and cookers. Here we go. Glen Caitlin Farm. Glen Caitlin. You can't get mere simpler than that, eh? I don't think we should be doing this. Charlie, may I remind you that you told my dad with your own voice that we would get that cooker? I know, but it's just a cooker, Gary. No, it's no. He's done it for 20 years and they've stopped making this model. Aye, cos it's old and it keeps breaking. Can you not just order a new one? Do you need to learn sign language here? They've stopped making the model. He needs an ASAP because he's cooking for the bowling club tomorrow. I'm sure the bowling club will get somebody else to cook. This is like mutiny with a bounty, honestly. One minute you're singing the praises of my dad's sausage rolls, the next minute you're saying you hate him. Gary, we're well, no, we're just... Listen, this cooker to my dad is like... It's like Adam, that razzle you've got with your home ecky teacher in it. <sighs> Mrs Riley, priceless. Or Jacko, your replica Uzi. It's not a replica. Or, or, or Charlie, you're, um, have you got anything? Chris Tarrant's autograph. <laughs> the boy from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Is that why you always play that puggy? Right, this is getting out of hand, right? All I'm trying to say is that this cooker at my dad is like your Razzle and your Uzi and your Chris Tarrant's autograph combined. Right, go on then. I'll do it. For Mrs. Riley. Thanks, Adam. Jacko? I'll do it too. For Mrs. Riley and all.
It'll be tight like. Oh, and it's 100 quid and I've got a fiver, so uh, we'll need to split it. There it is. Glen Caitlin Farm. Right, here's the plan. One, Jack and me will go get it. Two, Adam get ready for a sharp getaway. Three, we'll load it up. Four, Charlie, done it. Five, jobs are done one. Right? Let's do it. What are they called? Don't know. So who do we ask for? The cooker. Just say it, we're here for the cooker. You say it. 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 Yes? We're here for your cooker. It's a beauty, eh? That's mine. Well, one thing I was thinking about was right, because everyone's saying, oh, war's bad and all the rest of it. Well, why don't we just invite the terrorists over to the UK? Like, you know, just to show them that it's not that bad. I'd be up for that. I'd be up for showing a terrorist a boot and that, eh? Cos, like, I'd just take them out and, you know, like, we could maybe go to the cinema or go for a McDonald's or a Pizza Hut, Ken. I'd be like, I'll pay for it. There's meal deals, it's fine. Honestly, I'd just be like that to him, Ken. Just take that rucksack off, just chill out for a bit. It's absolutely fine, you know, and we could we could go for a drink, we could have a beer. I'd just be like, do you want a beer? We'd get wrecked, talk shite for a bit. Honestly, I tell you, give me a couple of weeks and he'd be like that. Oh, I can't believe I was into that. I feel like a total mug came that way. But I guarantee you, after a while, right, after he sees it's all right, he'd get himself a two-bed in Dalgetty Bay and that'd be him settled. Have you ever seen a tank before? Not even during the war. Oh, well, this is what they look like. Mission accomplished, eh? My dad will like that. Ah, it looks all right. It's a bit old, like. Aye. We should maybe test it, make sure it works. No, we can't. We don't have time. Look, that took two minutes. Do you not fancy a wee warm sausage roll? You're a genius. I'll run a lead off the tank. Two minutes. Aye, go on then. Stick one on for me. Ah, not in such a hurry now, are you? Right. Well, let's get cooking. Go on then, Gordon Ramsay. Do you know what, right? I wouldn't eat anything cooked by him. Do you want to know why? His face looks like it's rotten. It does, eh? Anyway, just give my dad a call. Let him know that Mission Glen Caitlin Cooker Freedom has been successfully completed. Hi, that's me. Aye, we got it. Nah, it was no bother at all. Just stuck it on the back of the tank. The ring's heating up as we speak. No, electric. Electric. No, it's electric. Electric. Right. Are you sure? Aye, electric. All right then, leave it with me. Right, see you later. What's up? That's the wrong one. Oh. It's electric. Has his gas. This one works fine. Aye, I can see that, but it's the wrong one. He doesn't want it. How can it be the wrong one? What did the woman say? Well, no much. She was too busy looking at the tank. Ah, well, at least she got some money for it, though, eh? Oh, shit. Have you just stolen some old dear's cooker? We'll take it back. It'll take two minutes. Right, well, we're taking it back now. No, wait. Sausage rolls aren't ready.
basically, right, the government thinks that the best way to fight terrorism is to fight the terrorists, which may seem, Ken, like sensible, but it's no. It's a bit like thinking the best way not to have weeds is to use weed killer. But any gardener will tell you that's rubbish. The best way not to have weeds is not to have a garden. Is she all right about it? Well, Ken, what's funny is, right, first time she never said anything because she thought we were going to blow up the house with the tank. <laughs> How funny is that? She saw us in the tank, put two and two together, came up with four. So where's the cooker? Uh, she's got it. No, the other one. Oh, aye, right. It's two minutes away. No. Honestly, right, it is on Glen Caitlin Farm. You were right about that, Charlie, but it's a guy that rents the cottage. It's just over the hill there. We don't have time. Alpha 200, come in, over. Go ahead, over. Current location, over. 15 miles north of checkpoint B, on schedule for an ETA of around one hour, over. Ahead of schedule, not bad, Don Cayman, over. See, there's plenty of time, nothing to worry about. This'll take... So, shall we go through the plan again? No. Oh, Jacko, I've not seen that face since that moped went over your toe and mosel. <laughs> You speak. Ask if there's a gas cooker for sale. We check it, we get out of here. Right, calm down. Two minutes, I'll be fine. Can I help you? Um, we'll hear about the ad in the paper. I'm no into guys. Not the cooker? Oh, aye. Right. Aye. I was expecting you earlier. Come on in, lads. Drink! No thanks. I'm all right, Tad. Settle down, lads. Take a seat. I'm ex-forces myself. Aye? Look at you. What's the matter? Is it the dress? No. It suits you. Hey, Jacko. Eh. Hey. Aye. It's just what I do, yeah. Army didn't like it, though. Got caught in the female mess trying on their gear, had to leave. You'll understand that, eh? Aye, kinda. Um... But out here, no one sees me, eh? Just me and my dress. Since my wife died, like. Aye, eh. Uh, it's a shame, but, eh, uh, just wondering if. I miss her. Ken, I really miss her. I just wish she was here. She was born here, like. I've got a footy. Aye, well, she's certainly got a, a face in her, eh? No wonder you miss her. You married? No. You should be. Best thing in the world, be married. You? No. Would it be possible to see the cooker. Mandy. Big Mandy used to call her. My big Mandy. She loved that cooker. She used to cook me stuff in it, you know. Anything nice? Beans. She knew how to cook beans all right. I loved her. And she loved me. She wasn't bothered about me wearing a dress. She used to wear jeans, eh? What's the problem? Jeans, dresses, same thing, eh? Listen, eh... Graham. Graham. Um, we're really sorry about your wife, like, but um, we're on an exercise, so could we? Aye, of course. Sorry, lads, get. Didn't mind me, eh? I was in the SES, like, eh? Aye. Aye? How was I know? I never said you weren't, eh? Aye, you did. With your eyes. What? You think you've seen things? I have seen things. I was there. Where? Iraqi Embassy, 1983. You talking about the Iranian Embassy, 1980? 
Aye, I was at that one and all. Right. See this, I've earned this. I've done my time. And I didn't appreciate you coming around my house saying I'm some sort of weirdo. Listen, Graham, there's nothing weird about you. You're just a man in a dress selling a cooker. Talking to which? Aye, of course. Sorry, lads, eh? Ken, they hurt me. Just a bit sensitive in that. Dress doesn't help. Sorry, son. Sorry. Never. I'll help Tom. <laughs> She's done again. She's only married. He's cooked again. This is a lunchtime! Mandy! Oh, Mandy! Now you came and you came without taking. I'll miss you. Hold me. Jacko? What? He fell? As he did. Um... Ah, he's out cold. He's still breathing, but. Hello! This looks quite bad, eh? For you coming in. Aye, it does. Denny. What's that I say? <laughs> you do make quite a nice couple. <laughs> if I was going to give any advice to someone that was going into the army, it would have to be just enjoy yourself. I mean, it's not all a berry chocolate, right? But see if you like early starts, getting shouted at, being shot at, fighting abroad, cleaning and ironing, it really is the best job in the world. Mandy, is that you? Hiya, I'm Rockstar Snoop Gary, and welcome to my crib! This is my living room, and my bedroom that I share with four other guys, so I'm doing pretty good. Why? Why don't we say hiya to one of my homies, DJ Jacko? He's got some pretty rad sounds like. And he's also quite moody, which is reflected in his lyrics. Yes, off. Ah, you see what I mean? And that's Charlie. So I've got like tents like all over the world, like. Just depends on when I'm working, eh? Just depends, like. Great work, lads. I must say, I couldn't have done this without you. See you. Oh, come along, Mr. Huffy Puff. Give me a thumbs up. Close. Shall we cover it? No, no, it's fine. We'll just leave it here. There's not enough time, is there, Charlie? No, we'll get it on the way back. Just uh, take a note of where we are. Done it. Sorted, let's go. Alpha 200, over. Go ahead, Alpha 200, over. New checkpoint coordinates, over. Go ahead, over. 046942, over. That's where we are. Are you sure? Please repeat new coordinates. Uh, I had a thing in my ear. Over. New tool. New checkpoint coordinates 0406942. Make your way there immediately. Over. We certainly will, Sarge. Over and out. How good is that? How lucky is that? What are you talking about lucky? Look at us. We're soldiers of fortune. We're a crack commando unit that was sent to prison by a military court for a crime we didn't commit. I mean, Jackal, look at you. You look like B. Barakas. And Adam, you are like the face man. And Charlie, you are Amy and me. Well, let's just say I love it when a plan comes together. Shit. It's Colonel Decker. Who? From the 18th, it doesn't matter. Well, well, lads. That was quick. Aye, we got here as soon as we could. You certainly did. And what's this? That is a cooker. There's no getting past you, eh? That looks like a cooker to me too. 
Aye, uh, somebody must have left it. Probably junkies. Probably junkies, eh? My, my. What a strange thing to leave in the middle of a field on MOD secured property. These junkies get everywhere, eh? Aye, they were probably so high that they didn't even realise that you can't plug in a cooker in a field unless you've got a really long extension lead that they probably stole from someone or... Shut up! Anyone got a better explanation for what this is doing here? I thought as much. So, this cooker appearing out the blue, well, it could be deemed to be a security threat. No, it is just a cooker. Come, come, Corporal. You know how sneaky Ali Al-Qaeda can be. Cookers, toasters, who knows how they'll strike next. Well, lads, you know what you do? Secure the area. No, we can't blow up. I mean, what would we use? I wonder. Target in range. Confirmed. Lock on target. Target locked. Prepare to fire. Ready. Sorry, Dad. Fire! Well, all in all, boys, not a bad manoeuvre. I kind of enjoyed that. Have you been asleep? I've just killed my dad's cooker. No respect. How am I going to tell him? His own son. <laughs> Hello, quick fit. No, Dad, it's me. Um, the cooker. Charlie wants to speak to you. Hi, Mr. McClintock. Uh, the cooker. Aye, aye, we got it. But it blew up. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. Ah, you're right. It's one of these things, eh? Hold on. Aye, we're near Glendale. 